Uh, you know what, I don't like to talk shit about the female fighters themselves uh, because everybody has their own. Everybody's a little weird in their own way and I'm a fucking weirdo myself, so you either like me or you don't. Um, other than that, you know, um, bring it on, girls. All the girls have been talking all the smack. All the girls have been uh, running their mouth about me, you know. I am an up-and-coming fighter. I'm a newbie. Let's do it, you know. I need, I need another fight every month. I want to fight every month. So let's do it. Make me make me a payday, man. Come on, bring it on. Is there any guy fighters you want to talk shit about? Fuck yeah. All them fucking bitches from Missouri. If, I don't even want to promote their name, but you know who you are, you little fuck faces that fucking train that cave and I'll fuck you up. Are they known or are they No, they're fucking little scumbag little fighters that fucking wrestled with me in high school and mm, fuck you up. Mm. As soon as the commission in Missouri makes it legal for girls to fight guys, Fuck them little bitches up and talking shit. You know who you are. You wrestled with me in high school. I fucked your world up. I fucked you up. No reason to talk shit now. You know what? I'll tell a little story. A little story. This is actually a funny story. So, Missouri wasn't pro yet. They're just an amateur show, you know? And I want to fight this little pussy ass guy. You know, he's like, oh, he's talking all this smack and he come out of nowhere. You know, I know who he is. He wrestled with me in high school. And I said, I'll fight that little fucker. So he's going to fight me. We get it all set up. The promoter sets it all up. The commission comes in. Missouri goes pro. The commission comes in and says, no, nah, we don't allow girls versus guy because I guess in Minnesota or, or uh, Mississippi or one of them M states, they made a big deal about it and how guys shouldn't compete with girls and blah, 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 bullshit. And so I throw this big old fit. I say, hey, you know, I'll, I'll beat this guy's ass, you know, no matter, you know, I'll beat his ass. That's just it. I know it from, from when we were in high school. So... So they're going to set up the fight. The commission says no. So the guy's like, well, fuck that. I'm going to call it Tanya, or her brother. I'm going to call it her brother, Owen Evinger. I'm going to fuck him up. You know, I'm gonna, I want to at least beat one of the Avengers. So he calls on my brother. My brother beats him in like 30 seconds. It's the quickest fight you've ever seen. My brother whoops that motherfucker's ass. Full mount, whoops his ass, little pussy ass, taps out. So anyway, um, I'm still trying to fight that faggot. And uh, he wants a rematch with my brother after 30 seconds, I guess. He wants a rematch. My brother's beat some top-ass quality guys in Missouri, you know. Elite XC should sign him, you know. He's, he's beat some, some top guys, you know. And, and the kid still wants to call me out. He wants to beat one Evan Drake. He wants to call my other brother, my brother's twin. One wrestles, or one fights, I, I'm used to wrestling. One fights 140, one fights 170. He wants to call out the, the tougher guy, 170. Even though 140, you know, is his weight class. My brother 140 whooped his ass whooped his ass. Chris at 170 will whoop his ass even worse because Chris has got a little weight behind, behind himself, you know, so it'd be, it'd be a bad situation. So he wants to beat one of the Avengers, but other than that, you know, no, man, I'm, mmm, Missouri boys, I'm gonna fuck him up, that's it. What's your opinion? You ever seen that have any, like, female sanctioned fights? I don't know, man. I think I think eventually UFC is going to go down. They're going to need to get female fights. I mean, look at Lead XC. They, they signed. And UFC is, is fucked up right now because even if they don't want to have female fights, they should be signing the top females. And they're not. They're fucking standing by. They're not doing shit. At least the Lead XC is back. They're signing. Even if they haven't fought them, all these people out in the world haven't seen haven't seen all the girls the Lead XC signed because they signed all these weight classes. And they haven't fought him yet, but the fact is, is Elite XC's got the top girls right now. If USC wants to catch up, they need to start signing girls. They need to start throwing out money, and you know, you can throw money to me. I don't care. I'll take, I'll take money. And <laughs> but um, you know, that's the thing. They, they got to jump on it, whether they're going to have it in the future or not. They got to jump on it. And who would win, the Cyborg or Gina? Come on. Uh, I think Gina's going to win it. I think. Cyborg has a lot of power, but she's a really wild puncher. And if you guys saw the last fight Gina fought in, you know, she was a wild puncher, but Gina just caught every opening. And Gina just, it, I think it's going to come down to experience. And Gina's a world champion a Muay Thai girl, you know, and if she sees your opening, she's going to take it, you know, just like a wrestler. If I see your opening, I'm going to take it, you know. No problem, brother.